in. How is it going? Everyone, welcome to I Wanna Best the Needle, a uh, game that is just a needle game. <laughs> Pretty much. Nothing out of the ordinary, but uh, it doesn't need to be more either. Uh, it also seems to have Mushihime Sama's uh, title music in the title. At least it sounds like Mushihime Sama, I'm not sure. Definitely, it's from Cave. I gotta be sure that it's from Cave. Uh, but yeah. Wait, it also has difficulties. So it's a little fun game. We should always play on medium. Doing otherwise seems like a mistake. Alright, so for some reason we are white. I mean, I don't mind. But... Hey, Blue, how is it going? It also seems like, wait, do you have free range for saves, I wonder? No, you don't, you don't, okay, never mind. I made my own fun game, yeah, of course. This was obviously made by me. No, I mean, I, like, this is the type of fun game that I want to do as my first fun game, because it seems that it's the, the best for a... Uh, for a new developer, right? Also, there is something that I don't understand. Uh, this game feels extremely responsive. I, it feels like I press a button and it immediately registers it. But there are some other fun games where I don't feel like that. I don't know why, because I'm using Shoy to key the same way that I do like in every in every other fan game but i noticed that some fan games maybe it's because they are done with a more recent version of game maker i mean this one is is made with game maker studio so i will assume that compared to a lot of fan games it uses relatively recent technology it, it feels so responsive it really does so, I'm not sure if that's the reason why, or if there is another reason, but I, it just feels so good to play. I, it feels like... <laughs> it feels like I'm the kid, that I'm not controlling him, but I am him, you know? It really feels like that. And it feels very good when that's the case. I don't know why some fan games don't have that feeling. If I had to to throw a guess, it's because it's a more newer version of Game Maker. I don't know. I will have to ask Yami that. But I don't know if Yami is here yet. It's just weird. It's not the first one that makes me feel like that, but... What the hell? Why is this bullet going through? Sometimes. I, I hear it goes through for... <laughs> okay. That's weird. Not like it matters. <laughs> it, it just goes through. It feels like going through. Nah, it's fine. It wants to go through. Who am I to tell it to stop? Hey, at least it's nice to see someone that that is actually using Game Maker Studio. Oh. I haven't checked if the sound is fine, but I I think it is. Let, let me just check. Ah, the sound should be fine. All right. Um. And yeah, the guy that made this game made other four uh, needle games that have the same name as this one. So obviously they have numbers. They have I wanna best the, ne the needle two, three, and four. So you know, basically needle. <laughs> That's what the games are about. Just pure needle. Wait, I'm going back here. You're supposed to go this way. My bad. Wait, this song is from Street Fighter. 
Seems like I don't remember which one. This is Street Fighter 4. It might be a stage theme. I don't think it's a character theme. If it was a character theme, I would have already <laughs> figured it out. But yeah. I mean, I did see in the Rhythmy very briefly that it said Street Fighter. But I, I try not to read too much. I probably should stop reading the Rhythmy. Because the Rhythmy, what they have is spoilers. I wish that most fan games did a Rhythmy that should save random stuff about the game. And then another TXT that should save credits. Well, I think some fan gamers do that. Fun gamers, fun, fun game creators do that. Maybe it would be nice to not spoil yourself. Yeah. At least this guy so far has very good taste in games. A like Mushihime Sama and Street Fighter 4. Amazing games, both of them. Fun games have had a long history of problems with Windows 10, some people use the fits and some don't. All games in particular you might need to patch a fits. At some point the studio engines had bad input delay, but that was fits and they run well now. I see. Well, thanks for the explanation. How is it going yummy? So, like for example... Oh, we switch it. What song is this? Don't recognize it yet. Probably I don't. But what's how to say? Yummy. Does that mean that if I make a fun game right now using the latest version of Game Maker Studio, does that mean that I will have low input delay or what? How does it work? Or is it something that depends on the... Well, I mean, you say the engines at some point... Well, you say they run well now, but... Like, all of them? Or is a... A case-by-case -case scenario? Because... Obviously, if I make a... A fun game I will have. I will want it to be very responsive, obviously. Song is Distress Signal by Laserhawk. Alright, thank you. We'll assume that it's not a video game music then. <laughs> I thought that was a platform, but it was <laughs> a, a, a spike. Yo yo yo. No, but. No, no. Yeah, I mean. That one is the one for the old version of Game Maker. The, the one that I'm using, or that I want to use now, it's called... I mean, it's supposed to be based on Yo-Yo-Yo, but it's a different one. Uh, like, can you check it? I don't remember the name, but is that one fine too, or is that one not fine? I wish I could remember the name of the maker, but... Yeah. I, the, 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 it, it, I mean, the description says that it's based on on Yo 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 Senshin, but for Game Maker Studio. What is this, Sham? I think down, right? Here? Yeah. Okay. Then here. KR GMS2 Engine by King Slendy. Yeah, that one. Thank you. Uh, is that engine fine in for this particular if it's based on it it's fine but well, I'm not sure how much it's based on it because maybe based on it just means that it has the same like the same uh, what was I gonna say it, it might just mean... That it has the same utilities or something. It 
It's an engine I made from scratch, basing it on Yoyoyo's uh, Game Make no Game Maker Studio One engine with using the new things. Okay. Well, he made it from scratch, so I will assume that. Uh, well, I don't know what that means. In, I mean, I know what it means to doing something from scratch, but I know how much that will affect the the whole thing or not. Okay, that champ is hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's something that I can try. Can just try the the rooms that are pre-made and see if the delay is low. Will be cool. It will be fine. All right, thank you. Problem is switching the game engines because people need to recreate the physics. Yeah, I know. Like the, the topic of engines here is quite sensitive. The, the good thing, well, the, the, the question is how much is Game Maker Studio 2 gonna be the standard? Because it is the current standard in terms of Game Maker, not in terms of fun game, but I mean, it's the, the one standard that it's used now, right? And it's something that you can get on Steam and all of that, right? But how long is it gonna be the standard for Game Maker, right? That's the, the thing with all these versions and shit. That it's something that... You never know. <laughs> like, what you learn might be useful now. And it could stop being useful at some point. You know? That's my issue. But then again, with that type of mentality, you could never do anything because at some point, <laughs> the platform you are using will become obsolete. But I guess for now, it's my best option to, to use that. Box. Problem? Oh, for the English community, yes. Wait, why only for the English community? We'll assume that that it's a standard for anyone, right? I mean, it's something that is easily available. It's not like like you need a specific IP or something, right? Or maybe it's because of the documentation. Documentation and possibly tutorials as well. I don't know. But yeah. What I don't know is, I like, I feel like I remember playing a fun game that had gamepad support for my dual sense of the bat. I, it had the typical option where you can scroll through. You could scroll through your input devices. Uh, well, through your game pads. And I think it did find my dual sense, but. With that engine that I'm using now, it doesn't seem like it's something that that is there by default, so it's something that you will probably have to add on your own. So I wonder how simple it will be to find. Oh, wait, we have a gimmick. I think the gimmick is removing those spikes. Possibly. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, it, it has to be. Well, it's not really a gimmick, it's a switch. Unless you consider the switch a gimmick. Which could be. Box. 
it. Maybe blue if you want to make I wanna be the guy fan games. You should play fan games like this that are more on like the the simpler side. Oh, and I did see, I think it was another one of these needle type of fan games that actually had the source code, so you could look into it. So it was for Game Maker 1.4, no, not for the new one. English community iterate evolves and shares works faster. I mean, that, that depends from person to person. Are you being a bigot, Mr. Yami? Well, I mean, I do know that, well, at least Japanese people tend to be more traditionalist. So if they have a technology that they know it works, they will use it. Yeah. It will be the first person to make a fun game without ever playing one. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you will have to play your fun game regardless, so... I mean, otherwise how the hell are you gonna test it? Or are you just gonna make the screens and, and that's it? Make the screens? Hope for the best. Just YOLO. Would be a, an interesting thing to do. Hey, doing a, a fun game without any any testing at all. Very very cool idea. Hey, I mean, it does seem like starting with a needle fan game might be the best idea, though keep in mind that a lot of fan games happen without a, a very clear idea in mind. Like, a lot of creators what they do is they make screens and then maybe they get inspired to do something spicier than just regular needle and they end up having a lot of screens that even if they don't have much to do with each other, they can still be used for a for a full-fledged fun game, right? So you can start with needle, and you don't necessarily have to finish the the fun game with needle. But it depends. I personally think that already. The task of finishing a fun game is quite an achievement. Because you might look at a at a fun game like this one, right? And you see how simplistic it is in terms of the, the technical side. Like obviously you have some very fancy looking spikes and all of that. That's not something that is particularly hard to do with the game maker, right? Obviously, the, the, the hardest thing you could say that a needle game like this has is the design of the shams itself. Like the, the creativity behind the, the shams. That's definitely the hardest thing that it has. And even if the, there might be a technical aspect, it's more of a creative aspect. So, games like this tend to be pretty simple to make, but even these games that are pretty simple to make are very hard to finish. Like, it's very hard to just have a full-fledged fun game and, and be like, yeah, I, I'm done with the game and you release it. That's the reason why I recommend a needle fun game like this. Because at least I guess when you have your first game out, 
or at least know that you can do it, right? Then obviously if you want to do another one depends on you. I mean it's kinda like how I did with the with the music arranges that I made. The first two are relatively shit. But at least it's a way that I have of of knowing, well, if I want to, I can do it, you know? It's that sort of stuff. Like, if I want to finish a, a musical arrange, I can actually do it. And I think that with fun games or any type of game, it might be like that. But I mean, you also might have the idea that the first fun game that you want to make is something that you want it to be special. If you are not a, a big fan of Needle, I think it wouldn't be very special, right? Yeah, I guess it depends on on those type of things. Imagine a brand new Gabi composition as the title screen music. No, <laughs> give me a break. Making a game is already hard enough as it is. And you want me to also compose the music for it. You are absolutely out of your mind. I mean, obviously it's not a bad idea to compose, compose, compose music for your own game, but yeah. I mean, here we're talking about the, the first steps. I mean, it's kind of like being like, I don't know, um, I, I want my first fun game to be a game that is exactly like Boshi. I want it to, to have like uh, 12 worlds, each one with a boss, with a lot of very creative traps, and with like 30 unlockable characters and a ton of secrets, right? Uh, yeah. It's a good idea, except that it most likely won't happen. You know? the sort of stuff that... I mean, if you can pull it off, that's great. And technically you can say that uh, Sol Green's first fan game was Boshi. But he had experience from the other games he himself made, which are Blob's uh, Adventure. Keep in mind also that... Um, Boshi doesn't use a standard engine. In fact, I don't even know if it uses Game Maker in the first place. I know that the engine is not the one that, that most people are used to or were used to back then. I think it's Fusion Media something. I'm not sure what it is. The point is that it's far from standard. What I'm trying to say is that he had a little bit of experience, at least in video game making. The Finite of Freddy Engine. It could be. But yeah, the point is that before doing that, he made a game called Blob Adventure and Blob Adventure 2. Which are games that if you play, and obviously if you compare to Boshi, they are absolutely... I mean, no, they are not bad, but compared to Boshi, they definitely are a lot lower in the quality scale. Leak Team Multimedia Fusion? Yeah, I don't know exactly which one it is, but I mean, pretty sure that you can just Google 
I wanna be the Boshi Enshin or whatever and it's gonna tell you. I mean, Boshi is quite possibly the most popular fun game out there, so... I, I think you will have a lot of results from that. Probably. The, 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 the main point is that he had experience before going with Boshi, which doesn't undermine the achievement of being able to make a fun game like that, but... Wait, can I just walk off here? Not with that align. Well, I think I can do it without an align in the sense that I don't really need to walk off. Oh yeah. Doesn't seem to be a problem. But yeah, I, I think that the, the, the main thing for me at least now will be getting used to to game maker. I mean I never use any any game making uh, software. Well that's the align, okay. So if you use the left side of the platform, you can just walk off the mini spike. Alright. Then you have to double jump. Okay. Sure. I don't mind. Okay. I, I need to get used to Game Maker and then other stuff. Okay, at least the, the cool thing is that. With just a couple of things, you can make something very... Original. Well, original. I don't know if original, but... With a lot of personality. So, for example, here... These... Blocks... Well, the blocks basically are boxes with red borders and then the... The middle is transparent. And then you have... Uh, wait, hold up. I need to do this platforming, right? Nice team. Th that checkpoint wasn't easy. It's just that I first shot at most of the champs somehow. But yeah, the point is that... The, the, these are very simple things to do. Having a, a a red box with transparent feeling and red borders, and then the spikes are basically well, they are also transparent in the middle. But like the animation, you get it by doing frames where each of the each of the frame is basically a less bright variety of red. And then obviously the animation just loops. But my point is that by doing something as simple as that, you can give your fan game a lot of personality. Because imagine if instead of that he just used like the standard I wanna be the guy blocks, like the, the, the brown ones, and then the spikes just were the, the standard uh, Mega Man spikes, right? If that was the case, the I mean the gameplay obviously would be the same, but it wouldn't be like the, the fun game itself wouldn't be as pleasing to look at, you know. But it's that sort of stuff. Those kind of things that are very small things. Oh. I probably should not focus too much on guessing the music, because I, I, I think I should go lucky with the first two. You know? 
Oh, you're supposed to fall down there. Seems like this game uses a lot of those type of resources. Like, you need to fall through a very high fall and then go back up. Like, I, I seen that being used quite a lot. This Sonic is from that Sonic fan game I wanted you to play. <laughs> but is it specifically from that fan game? Or is it a song from another game and it just got used there? They are two... Very different things, you know? Quite different. And this looks hard, actually. Huh. Okay. Nice! Alright. Let's see, I feel like a checkpoint like this, if it wasn't for the fact that the controller is so damn responsive right now, I probably would have taken a lot longer to do that checkpoint. I know that I never really complain about that, but it's extremely noticeable. But most fun games that I play have input delay. I, I'm pretty sure like 90% if not more of the fun games that I played on stream had had a lot... Well, I, I wouldn't say a lot, but they have some input delay. This one, aside from obviously the natural input delay that you will have for not being the computer, right? <laughs> Or just being a player that uses a peripheral to play. Uh, aside from that, it like it has no input delay at all. One composer went to work on Mania half a decade later. Damn. So it is original from there. I'm not sure if this is the type of music that fits Sonic. I, I feel like it lacks the cheeky side. And how is it going, Kyle? Right? Like... For example... Take Sonic 2 as an example, the mystery ruins, right? Uh, you can say that that song sounds a little bit dark and, well, mysterious. But it never leaves like the cheeky song. It's a, a, a cheeky, upbeat song. This one doesn't seem upbeat or cheeky at all, which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad song. I'm saying that it doesn't really fit Sonic. Playing SRB2K with the Spanish guy with... Uh, oh, he whip your ass. So I'm in a good mood. You, you like getting your ass whipped? Nice. Um, you will have to see the level this music plays in. No, but I mean, sure. But I think that only proves my point. That if it's a level that is very dark or like very serious, I don't think that's the type of thing that fits Sonic at all. You got your ass looped by Daigo. Right, but Daigo is the... is a... you know... is a pro street fighter player. You know? I will say that it's a little bit different. You know? Pretty sure that SRV2K doesn't have pro players because there is no money involved. I will say that it's a little bit different. <laughs> you know. But it, like, this music, for example, like, the first theme that I could think of that reminds me of it is the second theme of Lava Reef. 
right? And that one still has some cheekiness to it, aside from just being serious, right? Just a single level, the game has ton of levels and most are, as you say, sonic levels and music should be. This level was just trying to be different. <laughs> are you saying that this level is an angsty teenager? Just like Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> it could be. Getting destroyed by an idol? <laughs> Does that mean that you will also be happy to get your ass beaten by a VTuber? I can't believe that Kyle is secretly a VTuber fan. Unbelievable. Those are not my idols. Yeah, but they are idols. In a technical way. They are the Antichrist. Well, I mean, since when are you Christian, then? They are the Antichrist, and you are atheist. Why would that be a problem? Right? I wouldn't mind. I, mean, I am atheist after all. We'll probably hang out with the Antichrist with Satan. With all the gang. You know? You don't have to be Roman to fear Genghis Khan. I mean, sure. But... Do you fear the Antichrist? I don't even know what the Antichrist is supposed to be. I, mean, I heard that word a lot. And obviously the... The common thing to think is that... It's something that is the opposite of Christ. But I mean... The Antichrist of Tatsis? I don't know about that. If the Antichrist is just someone that is the opposite of... Of Christ, what will be the issue? I mean, after all, most people are the opposite of uh, Christ. <laughs> Christ was a humble hobo. Well, I don't know if I should call it humble. Considering that he was saying he was the son of God. That doesn't sound very humble to me. But... The point is that... I guess most people are not hobos. You know? Is we are all a little bit of the Antichrist. But yeah. it, it is what it is. So it seems that the the game manages the difficulty of the fun game quite well because 
it does seem... I mean, the, the first area was extremely easy. The second one already had a couple of checkpoints that were quite hard. And this one is definitely more like what you would expect from a, a needle fan game that, that wants to challenge you. Hey Lilo-san, how is it going? I'm playing my favorite. My favorite what? My favorite fun game? How will this be my favorite fun game if I have never played it before today? It's the... The first time that I have any relation with this fun game. My favorite kind of needle game. Well, I mean, kind of needle game? Yeah, I, I guess you could say so. I mean, basically a needle game. Wait, hold up. Team, nice. I, <laughs> I got that gate champ in the first try. All that shit. Uh, should I double champ? Yeah, I should. <laughs> Having a single favorite. I mean, you can have, I mean, no, here's the thing, it depends on how you look at it, because technically you can say, for example, that you have a top 10 of favorite foods, that means that you have a lot of favorites. But you can also have the favorite, which is the one that you will rank as number one. There is also the fact that you will have multiple number ones, like something that is tied for first place. But yeah. Favorite means very little. Well, I mean, favorite means. Uh, what you prefer. Okay, I mean, if we go for the word's origin, I'm pretty sure that it's from what you favor. You favor something over another thing. Basically, a preference. What you prefer before other things. So in that regard, you could have a lot of favorites. If you take that as the meaning of the word. Isn't that the, the copy pasta that Yami likes to, well, copy paste? The spike thingy? Pretty sure that it was the part of the copy pasta. I don't really remember it. Not like I want to remember it either. I would rather not. I wish I could remember who originally say that. Though I have a hunch who who say that. So that person is not really here anymore. So. I don't think we will see him. It's been a while since I... I mean, maybe he streams Toho still, but I kinda doubt it. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. Yeah, I guess it doesn't come as a surprise that it was a Toho player. Yeah, hey, that's fine. 
I mean, he's a better player than me. He was able to one coin clear UFO on Lunatic, I think. Pretty sure that was the case, yeah. Oh yeah. He's a, a better player than me. At least in terms of Toe, obviously. Personally, I mean, I don't remember how the copy pasta went. But yeah, complaining about games you haven't played, it depends. I mean, for example, I complain a lot about Dead Stranding being an insult to video games and a piece of garbage and calling Koshima an talentless hack. But the thing is that do I really need to play the game to say that? I mean, I probably need to. But I just don't see how a game where the main mechanic is walking from point A to point B can be anything other than that, you know? I already seen a lot of people that praise Koshima for the first Metal Gear Solid and a lot of people that say that the writing isn't as good on the other ones. I don't know. Maybe playing the games at least will make my words have a little bit more weight. But yeah, I don't know. The problem is that I will be playing games that I know I will most likely not like. You know? And that doesn't seem like a very smart way of spending my time, personally. Writing in Metal Gear Solid 1 is weird. But I mean, part of the weirdness could be because it's something that is translated from Japanese. Snake is like, repeat whatever the other guys say, but in a question, and that's like half of his responses. Well, I wasn't really thinking of dialogue when I said writing. When I say writing, I mostly mean about the story. No, not really the dialogue, because at the end of the day, the dialogue is something that, that is translated, you know. Writing in every entry of Metal Gear Solid series is master-like. Master-like. Okay. I don't know, I haven't played any of them. I mean, I played the first one, but I didn't like the gameplay, so I stopped playing it. So, I wouldn't know about that. Uh, I'm just saying that some people don't like that apparently... Some games after one kinda retcon some things about one. I don't know what things, because I don't even know the story of one, but yeah. Mobile nuclear weapon, a bomb, Japanese anime. <laughs> uh, it's fine, maybe he doesn't hear very well. You know? Especially when it's a radio conversation. It can be hard to hear. All history and dialogues are very good. I feel Splinter Sun couldn't hit the heights of Metal Gear Solid. 
I haven't played that either, so I cannot really have any input on that. But yeah, I mean, I think that that's also another problem to me. I... Well, it's something that I always say, and I guess I won't get tired of repeating, but... I don't really care about story in video games, so... When one of the main motivations is the story, I'm not that interested. That jump is hard. You know, I, I in fact I don't know anything about Splinter Cell. I don't even know what I will assume that it's a stealth game. But I never Oh what the hell? You can get stuck there? <laughs> Fuck. I wonder how common it is to get stuck. Because maybe it's a feature. You are supposed to specifically not spam champ, because otherwise you get stuck. It might be. Because usually those platforms tend to be higher. But that might be intentional. So here Solid got the corny ass charm. Yeah, I can see that. Some games are corny whether intentionally or unintentionally. Oh, I didn't get stuck there. It looked like I got stuck, but I didn't. Yeah, that jump seems very hard to do, guess. It feels like most of the jumps that I will do will make me... like... well, get stuck. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that getting stuck here is intentional. I, we are basically supposed to do this jump to the right of the top platform. And if you don't do it there, you get stuck. Because if that platform was any higher, uh, you will be able to choose a spam jump. I guess the, the game wants you to get it right on the first try. Yeah. Like that. Essentially. And this one is an interesting one. You cannot double champ until you are down there. But it's hard to zigzag these spikes. And to be very precise. Another thing that I need to investigate with fan games is how you loop music, but I think that that's more related. It's not really related to the fan game itself because, or game maker, I mean. Because the thing is that game maker shoots like a lot of engines, what I'm pretty sure that they should do is looping an audio file but the thing is that the looping has to be done with a specific file like i think that the, the file has to be occ and well the ending obviously doesn't have to have a fade out obviously but 
I think that there is also some data inside those files that makes it so the loop can start even if it's not at the beginning of the song, right? Like, let's say that the song has an intro from 0 to 10 seconds and then it goes until the 3 minute mark which is where it ends and when it ends it just loops back but the thing is that I think there is a way to make it loop back in a way that you don't loop back to the zero second and instead you can do it from the 10 second there is music files for video games that can loop there is a different system but it's engine independent you can also have dynamic soundtrack yeah, i will have to check i mean for now i'm pretty sure that what i will probably have to get it's a song that doesn't fade out. It's a song that ends abruptly, if you want to call it that way, but that loops immediately afterwards. Obviously, not all video game songs are like that. In fact, for example, in Blaze Blue, the songs in the in the first Blaze Blue games were not like that. There are songs that have a beginning and an end. And if it ends, it loops back from the beginning, but like, it's not a seamless transition, you know? It just restarts the song. I think that later Blaze Blue games change that and the songs are loopable, but I'm not that sure about it. To start, I will get already loop files. Well, yeah, obviously. We will have... Well, it depends on what you mean by loop files. If by loop files you mean like a long file, or a file that has a long sample that loops uh, like inside of the file, but then it stops after the minute 15. Oh, a file that ends where it starts, okay. Yeah, that will be cool, it's just that... I don't know how easy it is to, to find, you know? Oh. I think I won. She she. I don't even get music for winning. I just get a she she. You can still kill yourself though at the sides of the at the sides of the screen, which is pretty funny. Don't know why the game over is not center, but that's fine. Well, I guess that that was indeed the first I wanna best the needle. It, it was pretty cool. It, it, I mean. It does exactly what it advertised. It's a needle game, nothing more, nothing less, and it does it very well. So, hey, uh, well done, Maker. Wait, I'm gonna check your name so I can shout you out properly. Uh, Makedonia or Macedonia, I don't know how you will pronounce it. Oh, also, this title song is not Mushihime Sama, it's Eskatos. I was wrong, it's Eskatos, another shoot em up that I also played, interesting. And the Street Fighter 4 was Solar Eclipse stage. And then as Blue say, the, the Area 2 was Laser Hawk, Distress Signal, and then Sonic after the sequel, Free Fall. Hey, well done, Makedonia, you, you did well. Uh, so yeah, she, she's for this game. <laughs>